At least one state, Massachusetts, has decided not to allow bars, nightclubs, and other large capacity businesses to reopen until there are viable therapeutics or a vaccine. Right now, there are more than 130 potential coronavirus vaccines being worked on by researchers around the world. Of those, 19 are currently being tested in humans. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a look at some of the most promising candidates, Doc. Yeah, Kim, you know, after some encouraging initial results, researchers remain cautiously optimistic that a safe and effective vaccine can be made. Now, some of the biggest questions will be answered in the next few weeks as large scale human trials roll out in locations around the globe. 8,000 people in the UK have now received the vaccine developed by the University of Oxford. The phase three trials are also taking place in Brazil, where 4,000 will be vaccinated, and in South Africa, where 2,000 volunteers began lining up for the shot. Oxford was already working on a vaccine for a different coronavirus, giving researchers a head start on testing this one. This is the first study that is being done on the African continent, but in all likelihood, it will be the first of at least three to four other vaccine studies on COVID-19, different vaccines. Back in the UK, volunteers are also testing a vaccine developed by the Imperial College of London. This stage will include 300 people with a 6,000 person trial planned for October. In the U.S., the vaccine created by the biotech company Moderna is entering phase three trials with plans to test it in at least 1,000 people in Chicago starting this month. At least 400 participants will be over age 65. Researchers also want to include many African-American and Hispanic volunteers. I don't think it's going to be that hard to find people who are interested. Pfizer and its German biotech partner BioNTech just announced results from their phase one and two trials. All 24 volunteers given two doses of the vaccine developed higher levels of antibodies than typically seen in recovered patients. More than half reported non-serious side effects such as fever and sleep disruption. After the second dose, I felt a little bit achy and I my temperature was elevated. So I took a Tylenol and I felt better. Now, researchers in Australia, India, and Europe are also testing a tuberculosis vaccine that was developed in the early 1900s to see if it may offer some partial protection against COVID-19. Just a small sampling of the efforts going on to find a better way to fight this pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know these vaccines are being tested in, in thousands of people now, uh, Dr. McGeorge, but how do they test for safety in groups of, of people, just say older people or pregnant women or children? Yeah, well, you know, that's a really important point, Kim. You know, those groups are not included in this initial testing phase, but obviously we do need to make sure that the vaccine is safe for them as well. So here's how it works. Once a vaccine is proven safe and effective in the initial study participants, the researchers basically go back and redo the first stages of the trial, and they include pregnant women, children, people with other health problems, et cetera. So ultimately, it will be tested in volunteers from those groups before it ever becomes widely available. Yeah. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.